It's getting worse for the electric vehicle industry giant as it faces difficulties in the electrification process. With great ambitions for both internal combustion engine and electric vehicles, Volkswagen shows their technological lag in the market with accurate evidence for market sales of only 20,500 units in the U.S. market in the third quarter of 2023. And that's compared to the huge number coming out of Tesla, who surpassed 300,000. The German giant's EV dream seems to be in big trouble right now with a huge debt of up to $196 billion and slow plans for Volkswagen's technological breakthroughs. This makes Volkswagen one of many companies criticized over the past year for electrification plans that some say just aren't aggressive enough. Furthermore, with the company's stock continuing to decline for two years and its market position in leading regions collapsing, sparking a debate that is becoming disturbing. What problems does Volkswagen face? Join us to find out in the latest episode of Tesla Car World, where we'll talk about everything Tesla. And before we begin, we kindly ask that you show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our exciting videos in the future. Now, let's get started. Volkswagen Group seemed reluctant to phase out internal combustion engines, even as the EV industry is becoming a new future trend. However, they are compelled to produce electric vehicles to meet strict requirements from governments in other countries worldwide. As a result, they've implemented a dual focus in their production line, leading to billions of dollars in losses. Ouch. The automotive industry was shaken when Volkswagen CEO Thomas Schaefer issued a grave warning during a lengthy internal meeting saying, The roof is on fire. This is the final wake-up call. With an urgent tone, he addressed over 2,000 senior managers. This wasn't just a joke from a giant in the German electric car sector. It was a stark wake-up call regarding their spending on the EV market. Recently, Volkswagen's been named the most indebted company globally, with an astonishing debt of $196 billion as of September of this year, almost equivalent to the entire top country's GDP, respectively. It's true, automakers often carry enormous debts. As the situation worsens, we can recall Volkswagen's past scandal when they had to abandon over 350,000 cars in the desert back in 2010. The Dieselgate scandal appeared to rock the world. A decade later, emissions cheating was discovered on Dieselgate, with engines no longer cleaner, but instead using a defeat device to manipulate emissions testing. When the vehicle detected an emissions test, it switched to a lower pollution mode. Volkswagen had to pay over $7.4 billion to buy back diesel vehicles in the U.S. and store them across the country. Up to now, Volkswagen seems to struggle to attract new vehicle orders in the midst of the electric vehicle industry's strongest growth. They attribute this to the American competitor Tesla, reducing prices in various markets, including China, which is a very lucrative market for electric vehicles. Those within the company consider this development dangerous and also note a clear decline in orders for internal combustion engine models. Therefore, the German automotive giants facing fierce competition, both domestically and internationally. Specific demand for electric vehicles has dwindled, with car dealerships citing high consumer reluctance due to reduced subsidies, high inflation, and relatively high overall prices. The German government's decision to end electric vehicle subsidies for business customers, a significant segment in the domestic automobile market, has had a significant impact. Starting in September of this year, only newly private-owned electric vehicles are eligible for subsidies ranging from 3,000 to 4,500 euros, down from the previous 6,000 euros. Additional subsidy cuts may start in early 2024. Meanwhile, Tesla and BYD are planning to expand into the European market, with cost-effective models like the Model 3 Highland being widely available in Europe's market at a starting price of around 45k. The shift in the market's evident at IAA Mobility in Munich 2023, with the presence of Chinese electric vehicles like the BYD SEAL, boasting a range of up to 354 miles and a starting price of 48000 Your smartphone example highlights the significant role of brand in certain markets. For years, Android produced competitive phones, often better and cheaper than the iPhone. But in the U.S., iPhones continue to dominate. The brand power of Apple in the U.S. is so strong that teenagers are more than likely to use as their first phone a three-year-old Apple or even older than to opt for a completely new and improved Samsung. This dual focus is straining the company's resources and decreasing sales in China, where Volkswagen has had to reduce prices on high-margin models so they can stay competitive. It's clear that Volkswagen's path towards electrification has encountered a major speed bump, but whether it's a fatal accident or just a temporary setback remains to be seen. 
This journey will only be answered by time, and it's certain that all eyes will be on the German automaker as they attempt to navigate their way out of this chaotic lots and find profitability in the crucial Chinese market. Volkswagen sales of just over 54,700 vehicles in the third quarter are a dismal result, especially when compared to Tesla's staggering sales of 74,000 vehicles China made in one month in September. This lag in performance raises serious concerns about the company's prospect in the vital electric vehicle sector, where competition is continuing to intensify. So, what is the reason for this Volkswagen pushback? Volkswagen previously had ambitious electric vehicle plans with its ID lineup, but the numbers have painted a grim picture of Volkswagen failing to meet its sales forecasts. Reports from other manufacturers have highlighted Volkswagen's market shortcomings. Tesla reported a 65% increase in sales in third quarter 2023 compared to the same period in the previous year, indicating increasing customer demand for EVs. They sold over 935,000 EVs in the first half of this year, up from 565,000 in the first half of last year. The Model Y maintains a leading position with over 13% market share, followed by Model 3 with 7% growth in the first half of 2023. In addition, BYD sold over 1.3 BEVs and PHEVs worldwide in the first half of the year, doubling their sales compared to the previous year. The best-selling BYD models were the OnePlus, Dolphin, and Song Pro, accounting for 9% of global EV sales. While Tesla faced some issues in China with declining sales due to safety and data concerns, they still achieved a 44.7% increase in sales from the beginning of the year to September, hitting 700,000 vehicles. Customers in China and Europe are also turning to locally produced battery options, such as the Tesla Model 3, Highland, and Volkswagen's products, which have not left a strong impression in these populous nations. The EV revolution of the German automotive giant appears to be slower as they adapt to the transition compared to their competitors. Volkswagen's finally on the path to eliminating diesel and gasoline engines, which garnered much attention, but their transition plan is more extended. They introduced the 8th generation Golf in 2019 with an expected lifespan of 7-8 years, which means the current model could exist until 2027-28. In February 2023, the European Parliament banned the sale of gasoline and diesel cars from 2035, aligning with their goal of achieving carbon neutrality in the transport sector by 2050. So far, the Golf has been one of the best-selling internal combustion engine cars worldwide, which prevents Volkswagen from immediately phasing it out in favor of a full electric market transition. It's not surprising that the company's planning an electric version of the Golf. Volkswagen will introduce an upgraded Golf in 2024, but these plans still don't include a fully electric model. The company hasn't announced a name for the latest EV Golf. Names like ID Golf, ID.2, or just Golf have been ruled out. Recently, Volkswagen revealed a Golf-like concept model called the ID.2 All. This affordable hatchback resembles the Golf's design and starts at $26,500. If Volkswagen's idea becomes a reality, it'll truly be a competitive market against Tesla as Elon continues to hint at his own goal of $25,000 for an electric car. Most of Volkswagen's EV sales come from regions with stringent CO2 emission standards that have driven EV demand. In contrast, the U.S. accounts for only 11% of Volkswagen's EV income. The company's explosive EV sales in the Chinese market have fallen behind Tesla, a stunning shift. The delay may further erode the brand's appeal to customers seeking the latest EV technology. More painfully, brand means nothing when competitors offer better and more affordable products. This has been evident of the downfall of brands like Nokia and BlackBerry. The key difference is that the lifestyle of cars is much longer than electronics, giving Volkswagen and Toyota more time to adapt and navigate the shift to electric vehicles. It's clear that the journey towards electrification for Volkswagen has indeed hit a significant speed bump. And whether this will be a fatal crash or just a temporary setback remains to be seen. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below so we can explore what they can do to address these challenges. How will Volkswagen handle this crisis? Recently, Volkswagen reduced its production of EV models at two factories in Germany due to declining consumer demand in Europe. They seem to have ambitious plans for a new electrical vehicle architecture called Trinity and a new electric SUV in the A segment set to be produced in 2026, including the construction of a new plant in Wolfsburg, envisioned as a competitor to Tesla's Giga Berlin plant in Grunheide. However, the outcome was different. 20 members of Volkswagen's board decided to cancel the construction of this new plant, intending to focus more on the production of the ID.3 after discontinuing its production at the Dresden plant. 
This location may be retained to some extent, with workers assigned different tasks. Existing Volkswagen factories will produce a variety of different models based on a common platform. This moves part of a larger strategy to cut costs and position the company better for future competition. Reports suggest that the annual operating costs for this facility are between $64 mil and $74.6 million, and by doing this, Volkswagen could save about $21.3 million. Volkswagen's urgently seeking ways to increase profitability, with CEO Oliver Bloom aiming to make necessary adjustments. The core Volkswagen brands under the most pressure with low profits, unnecessary complexity, and excess factory capacity. Previous failures in the Chinese market forced Volkswagen to lower its prices for the ID.3 and ID.4 in the region, further cutting into their profits. In a recent promotion, Volkswagen's joint venture with FAW in China significantly reduced the price of the ID.4 electric SUV, now starting at $20,060. When Volkswagen introduced the ID.4 in China in January 2021, it had an initial price of $26,700. This move comes right after the ID.3 saw a price reduction in early July, with discounted prices starting around $17,500, extending through the end of the month. This helped the ID.3 to receive more than 10,000 orders in August, according to company reports. This is a common choice every company has to make. Lower prices to increase sales, but with lower profit margins and more significant market presence, or maintain higher initial prices to sell fewer units. Thomas Schaefer recently revealed a comprehensive plan to stabilize the company's financial health and ensure long-term success by initiating an initiative to increase Volkswagen's brand profit to 6.5% by 2026, which is approximately $10.7 billion. Currently, it's around $3.6 billion. This program is designed to secure the brand's growth and open the way for investments in future technologies, modernize their factories, and provide employee training. Volkswagen's made significant progress in the EV market, with a 50% increase in the delivery of battery electric vehicles in the first quarter of this year. This momentum, along with the introduction of new electric vehicle models like the ID.7 Compact, shows that Volkswagen is committed to progress. Volkswagen Group sees lower than expected demand in sales of electric cars, but plans to maintain pricing to prioritize margin and profits. The company revealed that its order in Western Europe includes 1.4 million vehicles, of which around 150,000 are fully electric. This is a very interesting data point because a year ago, the company had about 300,000 electric car orders. That's a pretty deep 50% reduction. In the third quarter, Volkswagen Group's all-electric vehicle sales reached approximately 209,900 units, which is a new record slightly higher than the previous record of 205,800 units from the fourth quarter of last year. It currently seems unlikely that the group will be able to reach 1 million BEV sales by 2023, perhaps 800,000 units. But even this would require a new record of 270,000 units in fourth quarter. Recall that Volkswagen Group's BEV sales in the first nine months of the year amounted to 531,500 units, up 45% compared to the same period in 2022, accounting for about 7.9% of the total volume. Europe accounts for 64% of Volkswagen Group's total BEV sales at 341,100 units, which means any problems in Europe will have a huge impact on Volkswagen's overall sales and profit results. Volkswagen Group has set a target of achieving 8-10% to BEV market share by 2023, and with 9% in the third quarter, it seems the company is gradually moving towards that target. They expected this gradual growth process will continue over the next one to two years until models developed in cooperation with Xpeng are launched on the Chinese market. However, only time will tell whether this growth will be strong enough to help the company expand its electric car business. With commitments toward a carbon-free future, accelerating change in the company's approach rather than offering numerous types of EVs, Volkswagen aims to simplify its product offerings to maximize profitability. Volkswagen is on a mission not only to survive, but also to reclaim its lost position. The company is committed to accelerating, especially in the Chinese BEV market. How do you think Volkswagen will win against their competitors, and who will be worthy of leading the EV industry? Let us know what you're thinking in the comment section down below. And if you had a blast watching this video, show us some love by smacking that like button, subscribing, spreading the word, and hitting the bell icon to get notified of more exciting episodes. Thanks so much. Until next time, stay safe and God bless.